All right, welcome everybody to Tuesday Night Sparks. We are in um, February. Uh, we are in a new catalog. Um, for those of you that don't know me, which I think everybody on here knows me, but somebody might be watching the replay, I am Michelle Hall, Star Director of Scented Shells. And um, this is our Tuesday Night Sparks. So everybody in our group of Scented Shells is welcome uh, to join in with us every Tuesday night. Um, and hopefully this is going to grow. I got some things in mind that I want to try out. Um, but until then, it's just going to be me right now and you guys. So I'm really excited about that. I'm glad you guys show up every single week. You show up for your business and you show up for your teams. And I love that. Um, let me turn this down because I don't want it to ring while I'm on here with you. Um, okay, so did anybody have um, a question to ask me? I would like to start it out. Um, if you got any questions you want to know about your business or about Cincy or any of that stuff, um, put it in the comments or, you know, just unmute yourself and just ask me. And um, I want to just try to answer a question that you guys might have um, each week whenever we do this. If you're curious about something or anything, just let me know and we'll do a question really quick or you can put it in the comments. Anything is fine. And if we don't have one, we'll move on. But I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to ask anything that you might have a question about about your business. Okay, let's get get started. So we have our new catalog that just started. Um, I have one back here somewhere in my bag, in my box. Um, I am really, y'all know me, I'm a spring summer kind of person. So I'm really excited about this catalog. I'm glad some of our scents came back. This is the new catalog, let me let Crystal in, um, that we have. Um, and I honestly, y'all, this really, the way they have the catalog set up now, I really do like it a lot because it's a lot easier to find stuff. I like that it does have the larger prints for like the products and things. And I also love the fact that it has this flip out thing. It's kind of like your product sheet, but it's in the back of that. So if you don't have catalogs, that's fine. The product sheet is literally what's on the back of this. So I use a ton of the product sheets. Um, they're a lot cheaper to get. And they also fit in, um, in envelopes a lot easier whenever you're doing your happy mail and stuff. So product sheets are my jam. I live by those. Um, but I do like to have a couple of catalogs on hand, you know, just for people that are like catalog people. Yes, yes, Stephanie. She, she knows the jam too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they are like product sheets are my number one go to as far as, you know, passing out stuff. And because when I first started handing out samples, I would just give a, a felt sample and it had my a label on it. And I can't tell you how many people were like, what is this? You know, and I was like, well, it's Scentsy. And they were like, well, what is Scentsy? So I was like, that kind of like set off a light bulb that's like not everybody knows about our fabulous company um, and the fact that they can see everything that not just that little wax felt sample that I'm giving to them they can see everything at a glance and um, contact me back if they want to order something um, this says zoom user so I'm going to invite this zoom user I hope it's not anybody that we don't know but we'll find out um, <laughs> okay so New catalog is out. Make sure, my um, number one thing that I like to say is make sure that you are very familiar with um, the actual catalog. Go through it, look at it so you'll know. And it's not like you're fumbling through when one of your customers asks you something. Um, Kay said it's asking for a passcode. It should not be asking for a passcode because I took that off. Maybe have log out and then try to log back in and see. I don't think, did anybody else have a, did y'all have a passcode to get in? Okay, got it. Okay, that must be Kay. Kay, if that's you that says Zoom user, just say yes or something like that. <laughs> okay, um, so get familiar with the catalog. Make sure you're looking at it and knowing how, you know, to flip through it and find information. 
um, that your um, customers are going to want to know. You know your customers best whenever you're talking to them, and you know your products best. Um, so the one thing that I will tell you to do is if you don't have a catalog, anytime you're placing an order, you can add a catalog for a dollar. Okay, so you can get a catalog actually shipped to a customer if they're placing an order and you're shipping straight to them. Or if you just want a catalog, you know, each time you're placing an order, you can go in and add one catalog and they'll send you a catalog for a dollar. So that's something that you can think of, you know, if you want to just have one on hand, but you don't want to order all 25 of them, then, you know, add one to your um, order that's going in. And that way you can actually view and see, you know, what's in the catalog because some, some things are different, some things are not, you know, but it's, it's kind of good to have at least one catalog each season. So you kind of know like what's going on. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is starting February the 1st, we started our new summer incentive. Okay, so our summer incentive is typically um, a shorter incentive, but the way they did it this time, it's actually going to last for six months, and it's called Brick by Brick. How many of you have heard of what's going on with the new summer incentive? Drop a hand or... Tell me in the comments, yes, you know what brick by brick is, and um, let's see what you guys know. So if you know what brick by brick is, give me a thumbs up. I like that. Very good. Okay, so brick by brick, for some people that might not be watching, is um, our new incentive that just started. So it's going to be every two months we're going to get our next brick. Okay, so the first brick, they actually were super nice with the first brick. So anybody that you sponsored from January the 1st through March the 31st, if you get them certified, then you've got your first brick. Okay, and you got the first step to the brick by brick. When you do this, you're going to get this awesome like recording set. So you're going to have a professional microphone with a ring light that goes with it. It's got a little stand that's gonna hold your cell phone. Um, so that is what your reward is for your first brick. Um, when you do get that person certified, so let's just say that they join um, now, um, they would have until March the 31st to get certified. They have to be a new consultant, okay? It can't be a reinstatement. It can't be somebody that's rolled up to you. It has to be a new consultant that you sponsored and you had them um, to get certified before March the 31st. Um, it's honestly, I'm gonna be very transparent with you guys. It's been very hard. It's been a couple of months since I have sponsored, not because I'm not having any conversations because I am having those conversations. It's just people are like, you know, just right now I'm really busy or, you know, right now it's not a good time for me or something like that but I'm planting those seeds. So I'm talking to the people, I'm getting, you know, getting to know them better, building that relationship, and I'm at least planting those seeds. I'm also sharing it on my social media and stuff like that. So it's like Shauna said, you gotta, you gotta keep talking about it and it, it'll eventually happen. It took me a long time to get my first recruit. It honestly did. It was over a year before I got my first recruit. So don't let that discourage you in any way um, because you're able to do that if um, if sponsoring is something that you want to do. My suggestion would be to go on YouTube and watch some trainings on sponsoring um, with Cincy. Um, Debbie Pitts Palmer is a beast. She is like she's like my hero when it comes to sponsoring. So in my drought I have been watching her YouTubes and trying to learn some things that she shares and some things that she does and I'm um, trying to incorporate those into my everyday living. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to go out and find somebody on YouTube and, you know, listen to what they have to say and, you know, just make sure that you're at least trying to make those connections. Um, you still have plenty of time. I know I posted um, at the beginning of February, whenever the new calendar dropped, you can go ahead and make a party. And I call it my, um, let me see what I call it. Cause I call, I made one for my own self and I'm putting all of my orders into this party. Okay. So this party is called, hold on, let me pull up my website. 
I want to tell you all the right thing that I called it because I wanted to make sure I knew what it was. It is called Catch a Blessing. So if you look on my website, I started doing this also. So let me see if I can put that up there. See where it says Catch a Blessing 0201? I started putting that at the end of my parties because I wanted to know when I opened that party. Okay, because you know, you're aware that our parties can stay open for 90 days. So if you have personal shopping links and stuff like that, and also started a personal shopping link for a lady um, yesterday. But if you have personal shopping links, they can stay open for 90 days. So that customer, if they order monthly from you, why not open them up a personal shopping link where they can get rewarded for doing their own, you know, their own shopping and stuff like that. And they can share that and possibly get you some more customers and some more orders. But I started putting the month and the day that I opened up that party. So I'll know come May that this party's been open since February the 1st and I need to either start closing it or I need to find, you know, what I'm going to do to go ahead and cash in my host rewards and stuff like that. Um, but you need to have some way of keeping up with that. I know Cincy does not do that yet. It's been requested um, that they have a little open date or something like that because you can extend the party out when you open it and first build it on your workstation it gives you two weeks to do that typically you want to keep a party open for two weeks but now we have these personal shopping links that people can use um, some people only get paid once a month so you need to expand those dates out to where you're able to have those so you should always do and i'm i'm doing that a lot more too samantha um i I'm opening mine up for a little bit longer just so they can have the availability to share and maybe get some of those new LTOs that are coming in and stuff like that. But you want to make sure that you're keeping up with that some way, either writing it down in your planner or keeping it up with it. Or you can do like I'm doing and say it's a catch a blessing party and I got 0201. So I know I opened that on February the 1st. My catch a blessing party, what I was going to say about that is. I am accumulating all of my orders and putting all of my orders from follow up and anybody that orders from my link or anything, I'm putting that into my catch a blessing party because what I want to do is at the end of February or, you know, whenever I build it up to where I get a thousand dollars in orders, I, before February closes, if you bless somebody with a kit, you can flip that PRV to them and they're that much closer to being certified before March the 31st and you can have that first brick of your party, okay? So, or that first brick of your incentive. So if you take that party and you build on it and you build on it and you get to 500 on it this month or whatever, and you find somebody that you wanna bless with a kit then the easiest thing to do is to flip that party, flip that PRV, they're halfway to certified, and then you have next month to help them with their official launch party to get them to the rest of certified. So if you have an extra order or something like that, put it in a catch a blessing, um, or you can call it whatever you want to, mine's just called catch a blessing. You can put it in, the, um, in that party and then the PRV, if you're going to flip the PRV to them, it has to be the PRV that's um, accumulated in that party before the end of the month. Because once commissions are paid, they can't flip that PRV to that person that's signing up. Okay, so once once you know you have somebody, that's why you really need to work hard to see, you know, and if they join before the end of this and you want to, you know, switch that over to their party, you can totally do that just by building your conversations and stuff. Um, you can definitely go in and change the name of the hostess and make that who you're going to flip that party to. Um, let me check over here. Trying to build a party. People aren't using my party link. Um, Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. It's really hard whenever you're trying to put it out there. I don't post, I don't post my link a whole lot. I personally message my link because it frightens me to death because most people say they go to Facebook jail for sharing their link so much. And that's what I don't want. I do not want to go to Facebook jail. 
So I've heard horror stories about that. And I'm just like, I don't really think that I'm going to do that. But I do a lot of private messaging and following up with my customers. And when they ask for, you know, can I see this in the catalog or something? I'll go to my link and then I'll copy that and I'll send that to them. So it brings up the catalog, but it brings them up to that catalog in my link. Okay. So um, some people have gone to Facebook jail for sharing their link. That's what, well, that's what they said they went to Facebook jail for. I really don't know, but I don't want to chance it. So um, when it says pws.com, does that mean they order directly off of it and it got sent to you? Yes. So if you have something that is cincy.com and they ordered, and it shows up on your order tab, that means somebody went out to Cincy.com and they chose you to place that order under. And it'll say uh, PWS Cincy.com on there. So that's a brand new customer for you. And the only way that they're going to be able to find you on Cincy.com is if you're a lead consultant or above and you are paid at title. Okay, so that's another reason to sponsor and to be paid at title as lead, because the only way that your name is going to come up on Cincy.com when somebody searches is if you are a lead consultant or above and you are paid at title. So that's the only way that they're going to be able to see you. Um, okay, so I think Quinn's asking a question. Okay, she shares your party link and she asks them. Okay, sometimes people do it and sometimes they don't. You just have to get them. For the longest time, my people did not. I collected orders and I did my own, but I'm getting more and more people used to ordering from a party link because I was the one that was like, I want to order it myself. I want to package it myself and I want to deliver it to you because most of my customers are local to me. And then it got to the point where they were just like ordering and it was shipping to them. And, you know, for the most part, a lot of my customers do that now where it's just like a direct ship to them and it's done and it's over with. And, um, you know, that's how it is. But I know a lot of you have customers that are not within your town and that's OK. And that's where that link um, will help whenever they start getting used to shopping with your link. It's just a thing that has to be almost a repetitive thing that you just keep out there sharing and different things like that. Um, and then whenever you're doing your thing for the incentive and you're flipping that party, just remember that it has to be in that month, okay? Because if you're gonna flip that PRV and you're gonna flip that party and they're gonna join, it has to be in that month. Commissions cannot run or else they cannot get that PRV. OK, and they won't go back and do that because once midnight strikes on the 28th for us, then, you know, this that month is officially done and they start doing their audits so they can pay us on the 10th. Um, <clears throat> OK, last thing is for this. I told you it was not going to be very long. Um, let's see. I had a customer start a club who another consultant. <coughs> And the order got so once she got it, she had to cancel it and make sure it was on my site. Yes, you have to be very, very, very careful about that, especially if you're sharing your site and you want to make sure they are on your site. Believe it or not, there's another Michelle Hall that's a Sensi consultant. <laughs> and um, the only way I knew that was um, she doesn't live anywhere around me. She has... Um, it's only happened one time and one of my customers went and ordered it. My name is spelled with one L. Her name is spelled with two L's. So my customer went on michellehall.cincy.us and she placed her order and I was like, I don't have it. And she was like, I just did it. I promise I just did it. You know, and I was like, I don't get this. So I had to call customer support and they looked it up. Come to find out that's what the problem was. There were, <clears throat> there's another Michelle Hall with two L's. And um, the thing of it is, you have to have a very willing consultant to give you that order back. And I know it's crazy. I know it's your order. But unless that consultant releases that order and tells customer support that you can have that order, um, then there's nothing that they can do about it because they went on that website and they ordered it. Um, but this lady was super nice. And she even sent me a message and she was like, how awesome is that, that you, 
<laughs> you know, there's two Michelle Halls that are Cincy consultants. She's not very active from what I understand, but um, she was very gracious enough to say, yes, that's your customer and you can have that order back. So this was, um, they didn't even give me that option. Now this was probably about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And I know that they used to move orders and stuff like that. But um, I don't know if they, you know, it's something they don't do now, but you have to make sure that they're on your site and especially if they're building a club. So yeah, the only way they can get out of that is if hopefully they didn't have a, um, always get my bar and they can cancel their club and make sure that they're going under you. But another way to ensure that they're going under you is to put your picture on there. So if you don't have, your pretty face <laughs> on your website, then you need to go into your account and you need to update your profile and put your um, picture in there so that when they are on your website, they can actually see your face and say, oh yeah, that is that is my wax boss right there. Um, so if you have that, whatever is the thing of the thing that it is now, um, if you have that um, photo that's on there, that's just a, um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just like a stock photo that they put in whenever you start your own um, business and everything. If you haven't changed that to your picture, I strongly suggest that you do that because that's the only way that they're going to be able to tell that that's you whenever they're on their shopping. Okay, so you can have a website that has, you know, some different name on there and they're not going to know that's you unless you physically tell them or they can look at your face and put it on there. And once you put your face on there, the newsletters that go out, they have your face on there. Any communication that they do, um, that Cincy does for you, they send it with a picture of your face. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna take our picture before we get in. Y'all smile. Y'all know I like doing this. Smile. Turn your cameras on. Love you. Okay, um, all right, so let's talk club. So this is the last part that we're gonna talk. Mine is this or that stories, got a ton of it. Oh yes, that is very good. I saw that, I saw a lot of people saying that. Yes, Ashley. Can I say something about the Fancy Club if that's okay with you? Mm -hmm. I just wanna share my if you're okay with that. Yep. Um. Okay, so I was talking to Michelle one day and this was, I think it wasn't it during our January where it was like everything was 10, almost everything was 10% off, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I posted about the whiff box being, um, you know, 10% off basically. And Michelle messaged me, she said, the whiff box isn't 10% off. Well, if you guys put it in, your Sensi Club, it'll automatically be 10% off. So what I've been doing lately is, is I've been putting it with box. I've been showing it as, okay, I tell them how much product they're getting for the amount. Usually it's about 40 to $43 that's in that box. So I'll tell them you're getting this box. It's 40 to $43, whatever it is that month, you know, tell them that amount. Then I say, if you could put it in Sensi Club, you will get it for 27 And I said, if you do that, this whole box is yours for that price. And I have literally gotten four people, maybe five at this point, to sign on to Sensi Club because of that. They are saving a ton of money. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess basically to break it down, if anyone's wanting a breakdown, you just, since it's a you need $30 in your Sensi Club just to get that 10% off. So you automatically with a with box will get that percentage off. And I did the math one day and I do believe if you buy one without the 10% off, it's like around 50-ish, I think. If I did that right, 30, 38. No, it's around... 43 but then whenever you put it in sensi club you're getting it for 
I think it's 3750, but they're also you have your post. Tell them, okay, so originally you would have to buy all of this product for the $40 plus your $8 in your shipping and your tax. So let them know that originally it's going to be about a $50 order without all those discounts, without it being in the Sensi Club. Tell them those special things. Because be paying about 50, like I said, 50 ish dollars um, to have that box without it being discounted and without it being in the Sensi Club. So kind of tell them, like, I guess as an example post would be, have this box, um, it's available to you for $27. Originally, it would be $40. And then with shipping and tax, it would be 50. But if you put in Sensi Club, it's only 37.50. So they're saving like generally $20 because they already discounted $10. Then on top of that, more in the Sensi Club. So just make sure they know they're literally going to be saving $20. I don't know if that breakdown makes sense to anyone. So if it's confusing to anyone, just let us know and I can try and break it down like a little more. But it, it definitely saves a lot of money because they already put that $10 discount plus that 10%. People know that it's definitely a deal. That's my best suggestion to you guys. Some people haven't signed on with the with box. Some people have just signed on to get their bars that they want, but they've also liked the idea of our referral program too. So make sure they know that because that's another thing that people are signing on with me for as well. So, and a lot of people, once you get them in the door, like with that with box, once you get them in the door for Sensi and they see mm -hmm. all the other things that they can get. Then when Cincy emails them and says, hey, it's time to update, you know, your Cincy Club is coming soon, you know, they can go in there and they can look and they were like, oh, well, gosh, I didn't know I could get this and this and this. And then they're going to save that 10%. And then when they reach $60, they're still going to save that 10%. And they're going to be able to get a half off item. So you need to make sure that they're all aware of that. And it's like Ashley said, our referral program started on February the 1st. And that was something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So it's not for consultants. I don't know. I wanted to make sure that all of you guys knew that because some people thought, even though I have a club, I'm still going to be able to get the points. But you're not able to get the points if you're a consultant. OK, so this is just for your customers. <laughs> and the reason they did that is because that's kind of double dipping with Cincy, if you think about it. We're already making commission off of our own club, so that would be kind of like double dipping and all of that kind of stuff. But um, so we as consultants do not get the points for that, but our customers are able to build points up for everything that they order and they're actually able to go in and do um, a referral program to where they can refer their friends to come and shop with you and they're going to get points off of those people that are referring to you now if you've looked at the plan at all i don't know if anybody's dug deep into this and looked deep into this but anybody that is referred okay so Basically, if you didn't go out and you didn't hustle and you didn't get that customer to sign up under you and they were referred by some by one of your customers, then your commission on that is going to be 15%. Okay, so that's where that different commission comes in. If it's your customer, you went out there, you did the work for it, and you got that person in there, then those are the ones that you're going to get your regular commission for. Now, if you have somebody that's doing that and they're doing the referral thing and they're getting all these points for all these people being referred, hello, future consultant, okay? At least they're talking about their stuff and they're getting these people to sign up for Cincy Club based off a referral that they told them. There is your future teamies, okay? Those are the ones that you need to be reaching out and saying, hey, thank you so much for that referral. Um, I'm really excited that both of you are in my Scentsy Club right now. 
did you ever think about like you just actually did the hardest part about getting um about being a Scentsy consultant is getting a customer you know or getting you know somebody to buy something you literally just did that so if you think about it that customer is already experiencing what it's like to be a Scentsy consultant because they're getting somebody as a referral for you but they're also getting somebody that they can get those points for so you really need to think about that in the broad band situation of it and um, make sure that you're really explaining that. Um, I have a card that I'd have in Canva that tells about all of the Scentsy perks and everything that I am passing out literally in every single thing. I have 12 Scentsy clubbers now. Um, and I want that number to grow. So I have, I'm almost to $500 a month in just Scentsy Club. And y'all know one of my goals is to get to at least a thousand in Scentsy Club. So I'm working really hard on that. And literally everything that goes out of my hand, Scentsy wise, has a Scentsy Club thing with it. Okay. And I am working on my, I got them in the living room. I don't have them in here because my whole office is a disaster and that's okay. Y'all are just seeing me how it is. But um, I have my four by fours that I've been working on. Y'all know that's my thing. Y'all know that's my jam, how I do my little um, advertising and stuff. But um, I've been working on my new uh, marketing materials that I'm sending out for the new catalog that opened and everything. And it really helps that number one, you have your own club. Okay, even if it is a wax bar that you want to keep for the rest of your life or whatever, you know, it really helps to speak to something if you're experiencing something. Okay, so if you if you sit there and say, you know, join my club, join my club, join my club, and you don't have a club yourself, then, you know, they might look at that. Well, they're not going to know you don't have a club, but I mean, I'm just saying you can experience what it's like to get those emails that says hey michelle your club is on the way um are there any things that you want to change before it gets locked in or you know something like that you can actually speak to that for your customers you can also if you're going to buy your own stuff why not save the 10 percent your own self okay you're going to be doing this why not save the 10 percent and get the commission right back for it um so if you do that, you're able to speak to it and you're able to like show people that, hey, I got my email that says it's time to update my club. You know, show me what you're doing whenever you update your club. You can make it more personable whenever you're talking about something like that. But the perks that people have and that our people are starting to get, they are the ones that, you know, those are going to be your spokespeople for your business. They're the ones that are going to be like, I love Scentsy so much. You know, I'm so glad I'm in the club and I can customize it to however I want to do it. And um, just building those relationships with those clubbers. Those are your true VIP people. Those are the people that literally take time to shop with you, to build that relationship with you. I do my little boxes that I, you know, give to them and everything. And it's really, it's really rewarding for them to say, I love, I got two messages this weekend saying, I love my box that I got from you. Thank you so much. And all I did was put the 10 new cents felt samples in there. I put some candy in there. I gave them a for real life catalog. Everybody else got product sheets um, and, you know, some little gadgets that I found at Party City. So building up those customers that are in your club is what's going to be like a steady, sustain now can they skip yes they can skip um hopefully they don't skip a lot if they have get um bring back my or not bring back my bars but I always get my bars because i think you can only skip once with an always get my bar and after that you're going to lose that bar okay so you need to know the ins and outs of the club and you don't want these people that have this bar in there that they've been waiting for to come back with bring back my bars and if they don't know about the process of it and skipping everything. Yes, since you will say, are you sure you wanna skip this because you're not gonna be able to keep it, you know, but just letting them know that you are aware of it and how the whole process works will make it a lot easier for them to trust you as their consultant and, you know, their wax boss and make them want to shop with you. 
Um, so you need to make sure that you're going through, you're learning the referral program. You're also learning um, and doing, I'll share my Canva template with anybody that wants it as far as, you know, making a little card for your customers. You can tweak it to however you want to, but the nuts and bolts of how the Sentency Club runs now is on my card and it's, you know, literally goes out with every single thing that I hand out. Um, and it explains everything really good and it's available for them to look at. And it also has the information you know, where if they're asking me about it, I'll go to my website, I'll go to join the club, and then I'll send them that link on there. You know, you can't attach club orders to a party. So when you're sending the link, don't worry about sending the party link, send your club page link. Okay, so if they're asking any questions at all about that club page, or about the club, then just click on that on your PWS join the club and then copy it at the top and then just send them that link so they don't have to go on your website and start looking for information on the club. It's gonna be right there as soon as they click on that link that you send. Um, and that's about it that I had for tonight. Does anybody have any questions? And thanks Ashley for sharing that. That's how I posted today okay. about that. Oh, Sean wanted to ask a question about being paid a title. But I posted Yeah, I just have a, a really quick question. Okay, go ahead. I'm remembering correctly for my people. Okay, so 500 PRV mm -hmm. is what you have to get to get paid at title, correct? Correct. If you have a team, nothing else, right? Um, yes, you have to have the GWV that um, or TWV for them for your whole group to be paid at that title. So let's oh, just so. say you're a lead consultant and you have one consultant underneath you on your group. No, like they have two, then then whatever it says over there on that, when you're looking at your screen, whatever it says on the right-hand side, you have to have that to, to yes. get paid at title. Yes. So for okay. like lead consultant, if they had two under there, you as the leader of your team have to have the 500 PRV. Then all mm -hmm. three of y'all together, all three of them together would need to make mm -hmm. up what that GWV That's I, I thought that's how it was, but she was like, no, I... I only had to get 500 PRV and I was like unless it's changed um no because there's been a month or two because not because of me but because of my team I didn't pay that title you know what I mean so, right right so yeah. it can either hurt you or help you it just depends on what your team's doing that month right and if before, that was it when you get to um let's just say you have more people on your team and they have people that's underneath them um let's just say you are a star consultant and you have somebody on your team that promotes to star consultant also um if they promote to the same level as you before you hit director now this is before you hit director if they mm -hmm. promote to the same thing as you then you're not going to get paid off of these people on this uh star director on this star right person over right here. so that means that y'all are ranked the same okay so that's just that's just something you know to keep in mind also that you always have to keep working your business just because you have people up underneath you doesn't mean that you don't have to keep working your business they can oh no yeah like like i said me personally i know hey i need to get well over 500 i try to always get well over 500 right. and then you have your team that's all, oh i only put in two or 300 this month and you're like why did you stop just because right. you got this 200 like right yeah no and oh, everybody I yeah you should definitely be trying to shoot for at least 500 um if you have one person on your team and encouraging them to do the same you know so i mean the more you're in control of your paycheck your prv is the one thing that you can control tell your paycheck you can't control what anybody else does as far as your paycheck goes but you can control your prv so you know mm -hmm. based on your prv that's what your paycheck is going to be your yeah. team is a bonus your team mm -hmm. that you get paid off of is a bonus up underneath you so the one thing yeah. you can control is that but yes no they have to get to that as a collective group they have to get together to that gwb that's what i thought thank you okay anybody else have any other questions all right, I'm gonna stop the recording.